Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I will show you how you can convert a text to speech in your Android app. So if you have ever wondered like how you can make your app to read out a text or a string or a passage in your app, then this is the right video which will show you very quickly or in a very short and very easy method how you can do it. So let's begin. So I'll be very simple in this app. So I'll just create an empty uh, activity name you can give anything so i'll just say my sample uh, text to speech this is just a demo app so you can give any name but you can use this uh, concept uh, similar to what you can use for other uh, purpose like um, uh, ebook e ebook reader or pdf reader something like that the, the concept remains same you have to just extract the string and then the rest of the things uh, android will auto automatically take care of it so it may take few uh, seconds to initialize your uh, app and uh, yeah we'll have to wait for that time so once uh, you initialize or created your uh, app this uh, window should come up where you should get the uh, java code where you can write your logic okay so before we get into java code we'll just quickly modify the layout uh, as per our uh, need so we'll go to the xml file and in this design layout uh, probably we won't need a text view but uh, okay so it's a constraint layout and i prefer to work on a relative layout so i'll just in this i'll just remove this and put a relative layout here and then i'll go back to my design and uh, i don't think i'll need a text view because i need some or you can use with text view also but i think i'll go for uh, this multi-line text because i would like to enter my text myself and uh, what else i will need is uh, probably a button which on clicking that button that will be my trigger for this uh, for the app to know okay now go ahead and convert whatever i have written in that uh, edit text field to the uh, speech yeah so button uh, oh, it doesn't matter i'll just leave the id button because we will not be using this button id in our uh, uh, code uh, text probably I will change. This is the text which is displayed on the button. So, text to or I can give a space because text to speech uh, convert. Yeah. So once done that, rest of the things I think I leave same. Only thing is I will uh, move it out to a little bit on the uh, middle. So for that I'll have to uh, change the layout margin. Yeah. The layout margin from a start that is from the left hand side i think i'll put around 150 dp let me see if it's a bit on right hand side so i'll reduce it to 120 dp and then from top i'll put it uh, around 50 dp yeah perfect or you can 60 dp yeah so once done that placement now i'll go to the other uh, widget that is my edit text and here again uh, first let me set the layout itself so for layout i'll put from a start around i think 20 dp i don't want to bring it too much on the right hand side and from top i will have to bring around 100 dp because i i, I want to bring it below button so i think i'll have to put 150 dp so yeah below button over here i can write my text now if i go on top edit text id i think i'll leave it same layout width probably i'll increase it uh, to something like uh, 300 dp or more 350 dp because i want to cover the complete screen 380 dp or 360 dp yeah okay so this is always a, a hit and try i mean you have to keep giving different values and as per your requirement you have to set it uh, once done that probably i'll just put some hint messages uh, to, so your text here so this will appear in a grade, uh, grade out format in your uh, app, in your running app. So that's it. I think from layout perspective, I'll keep it simple and it's done. I'll just quickly fix all these uh, warning messages which I'm seeing here. So autofill yes. You can choose if you don't want to autofill option. But usually I go for yes because it's anywhere demo app. And then uh, they are hard coded text. There is nothing but the, say for example, this uh, text strings which we wrote right now. So those we have to create a resource so that will be autom automatically taken care of by the Android. Okay. So once done this, now we can switch to our uh, 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 coding. In parallel, I'll also start my layer emulator because it sometimes takes time. So yeah, in coding, it will be again simple. So my emulator will be coming up in parallel. So 
first i'll have to create a, a couple of uh, my objects which will uh, read my uh, widgets which we have created so one is edit text which we created and the other one we will need probably is private text to speech so this is in a, uh, this text to speech uh, data we can just uh, create that text to speech directly from here i think that's all which we'll need over here in the on create uh, method we'll quickly <coughs> initialize our uh, this this variables which we have created here so edit text will be nothing but find view by id so bingo i mean if you see on the right hand side we also got our uh, app coming up so that's fine so in parallel we'll continue our uh, uh, right now if you press button or something it, nothing will happen because we have of course not given the uh, on click method or callback method so r dot id dot edit text is what we kept there so yeah so now our edit text local variable is uh, associated or connected with the edit text in the layout the other thing which we may have to do is this text to speech we may have to initialize it so for that we can just use this new text to speech and then we can get the application context over here and then we can have a new text to speech on listener yeah on listener so this will uh, automatically create the all the like on init initialization method you can leave it blank so but uh, what i will do in this is i mean uh, it's up to you you can do of course for your advanced or your uh, for your full fledged uh, app you will have to initialize it accordingly so here but i'll just ensure that we have set the language uh, to one of our local whatever local you want to select so in this probably i'll keep it to us canada china there are lots of options france is there germany is there so based on what what local you want to select uk is also there so if you prefer uk english and you can set uk english uh, korea so there are various countries they have given i don't think they have given all the countries but yeah there are lots of countries so i will set it to us to keep it simple okay what else you can do is probably you can also set the speed here but for the timing i'll just skip it part uh, so for speed you have the set speech rate uh, i'll just show you probably set uh, speech rate yeah this this you can set but for the timing probably i'll just uh, leave it so i'm commenting out we'll come back to it if we find or if we or feel that our uh, uh, speech rate is very high we need to slow it down or or probably make it faster now for on click method we will uh, make another uh, method yeah so this we can name as text to speech but yeah you can give any name it doesn't matter of course the only thing is you have to be in make sure that this method is associated with your uh, button over here in the layout so you can just select a button and then there will be something called on click so over here you can see on click and once you have uh, defined your method there or uh, declared your method then it will come over here in the drop down automatically but please ensure that you would you define it as a public method over here yeah so once done that now now to make your uh, text to speech there is only one command and very simple command that is speak s p a yeah speak and in this the first one will be the my character sequence the text which needs to be converted the second uh, input is a mode which you can probably go for q or flash and whatever we'll see the options and yeah there are various options so let's see so we'll use this speak and the uh, yeah, first one is the my actual text which we have need to convert so which that will get from edit text uh, get text dot to string method yeah so once we have it then the second argument is uh, what we want to do uh, which mode we want to select so text is we'll see what are the options which we have so we have uh, flush or add q add and other options which we have i think we'll go with flush this will ensure that if there is something previously <coughs> which has not been completed it will just flush that out and take the new comma uh, new entry what we have given over here i think more or less that's it nothing more we have to do so i think we can uh, go ahead our code is complete probably we'll come back to the speech rate ag uh, again later on so i have built my app again it may take again some time uh, to update i have basically done this update and not the complete build 
so once this is updated then we'll <coughs> prototype something and see how it happens over if it works or not so it's installing apk you can see the status over here so it's still taking time yeah so i think it's done now so once done i'll probably go and type something here test message and then i ask it to test message yeah perfect if you if you were able to listen I, i'll be quiet for some time so you, you can listen again test message yes so our uh, app is uh, able to read this message so I, I will probably write some some more complex lines i am writing this complex line to demonstrate the text to speech app do you understand i'm putting a question mark here so that I, we can see how it treats the uh, like different punctuations and i have i'm fairly confident confident it will be able to treat that nicely okay i think by mistake i clicked some button on my app which caused this to go away so i'll just bring it back here yeah do you understand uh, yes of course or i'll put explanation mark let's see how it happens i am writing this complex line to demonstrate the text to speech app do you understand? Yes, of course. Yeah, so I, I can see that modulation was also there. That was really interesting. So before I end, I'll just uh, quickly show how you can uh, also set the different rate of here. So what you have to give is you have to give a uh, float number inside this. So we can probably give some kind of, uh, we'll just slow down to 0.5. And I'll just cast it with float. Yeah. And then again, we'll, we'll, I'm updating my app. And we'll see the same text how it happens i think it will slow down to some some bit i mean yeah so based on your, the, your requirement you can set the speech and there are lots of other uh, options i'll i'll suggest you feel free to explore your uh, options of text to speech so you can set the speed is read rate you can uh, set the language you can set uh yeah various things over here so i'll I am writing this complex line to demonstrate the text to speech app do you understand? Yes, of course. Perfect. So if you if you observe that it was really really uh, slow. So yeah, I'm not sure if you like to have that slow, but yeah, just I wanted to show you that rate you can uh, set, and because of rate you can just modulate or you control the how your app uh, works. Yeah. So this is the last demonstration I'm doing with the 2.5 speed speed. So I'm expecting that it will go very fast this time. I am writing this complex line to demonstrate the text to speech app. Do you understand? Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, that was nice. Okay, so that's all I wanted to show. So I hope you this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, uh, please put in my comment section. And if you like this video, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye.